Happy Independence Day. 64 years after our independence by our scrupulous, fastidious, energetic, puritanical, and a routine tooting Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It's a reflective of the fact that Ghana still wallows in a state of many sister statism and kum gagantua gaga corruption and state brigandism in a brewer's Maracoria. Ghana right now is neither witnessing a democracy or witnessing a civilian government. What we have at best is a type of government I call Kaki Stomobo plutocracy, which is bad for the nation. To me, the belligerent, the retaliators, cantankerous, annihilation and decapitation of our natural resources is sardonic, opprobrious, malevolent, and carmoniously exasperating. Also, having listened to the grumpy, peeved, disgruntled, pussy animals, and tendentious Ghanaians, I want you to follow my unregettably posterior esprecando why I would never koto in the poor until there's a total babituration of the promulgated, of the conocopious, uh, and repetitive corruption policies which has left Ghanaians flumous, illiterate flumux. Second, the tribal gigonsti or tribal chauvinism, inconcomitant with the vilification and solipsism that characterized the dispensation and dissemination of our national appointments, which is not perpendicularly in line with the latitude and longitude of my country, Ghana. Now it has metamorphosed into what I call administrative decompopulation and economic notampolism. But I pray it does not transmogrifically transmute into a rancorous and a political uh, acrimony. Ghana right now is in the financial makosa. The devaluation, dilapidation, obliteration, and decapitation of our currency leave the masses disordered. I wish our president Nkroma was here today and witness how events unfold in the country. Those who call themselves or come and see those who call themselves conscientious, sagacious, apropos, calumniators, but libidinous politicals who in their higri pogri and the siliquence and hocus pocus agenda deceive the country and dumped us in a rancorous and acrimonious economy in Brogro. Finally, I just want to tell all my hippopo monstrous and stupid phobias that I'm not a twiddler, but a logomania, a stupidalian who does not believe in male chauvinism and I reside in the collocations of intellectual Buddhists. Ghana politicians, one more time, you better change the way you think. All Ghanaians will never cut out in your poho. May God bless our country, Ghana, forever. Thank you very much, guys, and have fun today.